I'm gonna be basically walking you through how to make a rule to auto assign an issue. So in order to do automation rules, you actually do need to be a Jira administrator and not just a project administrator, but you need to be what's called a site administrator or at least a Jira level administrator. And the easiest way to know if you are a Jira administrator is if you go to the settings section at the top right corner of your screen, you will be able to see Jira settings. And this is good if you can see those two things and if you can see the user management and the billing and it actually takes you to user management that's also a really good sign for this particular instance just to be able to create the automation there's two ways to do it i'm going to show you both ways real quick if you are in this main your work page between the blue create button and the search there's a white space here just click in there and click gg on your keyboard real quick and that's going to bring up this little modal that will allow you to navigate the settings a little quicker so go ahead and type in automation and you'll see that Jira is going to go find automation rules and it's going to navigate you to the automation rules. Now that's one way. The second way to arrive at this page is to go to the gear on the right side. You're going to click on system. This is really key. Within here, you are not going to find the, like the specific automation. So once you're in system, you're going to look for automation here in the middle and click on global automation. This actually recently changed. This used to be all the way at the bottom. And so if you're used to looking for it at the bottom or maybe in yours, it's not in the middle and it's still in the bottom. Just depends on if Atlassian has pushed the latest stuff over to you. Once you're there, you're gonna to wanna to click into the automation and then you're gonna see all your rules. Within these rules, there's a couple of different things that I wanna highlight here that might be important for you or valuable. One, you have global rules and global rules basically apply to all of your projects equally. And this is a good thing and it's a bad thing depending on the type of rule. For example, in this particular case, this user has a rule that is automatically assigning issues to people. If it's at the global level, this, this if the rule isn't working appropriately, this could is potentially have a catastrophic impact across all of the projects. I tend to try to make my rules, this is obviously just my instance, so I'm not too picky with this one, but when I'm doing these rules for clients, I tend to select the project specific to that one project, or at least the, the projects I know will be needing it. Because if multiple people need it, even though the global is okay to do it, um, it still could, again, have some negative consequences. Additionally, if you click on usage, these aren't free. You actually only have a certain number of executions available. In this case, Atlassian has given me 35 million executions. Now this is a good number. I typically go through a thousand executions a day just under my account and under specific clients. That just really depends on the rule and how you set it up. So you may or may not exceed this. I think 35 million is a lot. So I don't think you're gonna run into any problems with 35 million. They might as well just make it unlimited but so just want to be careful when you're creating automation rules that you're mindful that if your automation rule is going to be running a lot of times you're going to quickly hit your limits here so again just be very very careful to do this so anyways let's go and answer the question here so i've asked my company to add the auto assign feature automation to one of my projects now this this is interesting so like automatically assigning an assignee in jira you can accomplish it without even doing the automation rule at the project level, and I'm just going to open a new tab so that I'm not teeter-tottering on you. But at the project level here, under project settings, you can set a default assignee here. So the description that is in this request here is not very clear because this first sentence is, I have asked my company to add the auto sign feature, which in my mind, if, if I'm hearing this for the first time, I'm thinking that the auto sign feature is the feature here where when you create the, the issue, any issue, it's gonna automatically default to the assignee. So that's one way. The second way that I usually would auto assign issues is through components. So each component can have a default assignee. So when you set the right component to that issue, that component lead or the project default, whatever option you pick here is what's gonna default. And so those are usually the two ways. Regardless of those two ways though, I tend to not promote auto assigning issue. And the reason for that is one of two things. One, when you auto assign issues, you automatically add issues to somebody's backlog. And depending on who it is, those issues could get lost in that abyss, if you will, because that person is just going to get so many issues that they're going to start ignoring the notifications and the value of being assigned an issue is diluted. 
because now this person doesn't know if the stuff that's being assigned to them is really work that they need to be working on, that they need to be held accountable against, or if it's just the system doing dumb things in their mind and it's just adding their name to tickets. So as you can see, it really, in my, from my opinion, it loses the value. And two, as a project administrator, you also lose control. When you're auto assigning issues to specific people, you are basically assuming that these rules are set up in such a way and that people are never gonna change and that they're always gonna be in the same team and that same role and that same responsibility. So it can get kind of annoying because then all of a sudden now when somebody leaves, you gotta come in here and update these things. So I, as a project admin, I tend to, or even like a scrum master, right? Or your PO, whoever's doing the assigning of issues, I tend to prefer having the option of having the control to then cognitively make the assignment because not every issue is created equal and it's not always appropriate to assign that issue to that one individual. Now, with that said, there are instances where having an assignee by default is valuable. For example, if you are using Jira to maybe get an approver or something of that nature, automatically assigning it to the person that's gonna approve the issue is gonna be beneficial. And so it really just depends on your specific use case, but I would argue that most of the time, you don't wanna automatically assign issues just because it does dilute the value of what it means to be an assignee of that issue. But anyways, let's assume that none of that's the case and that you actually are interested in assigning this. So how do you do it? And so the easiest way here is when I'm gonna jump back into my automation. I just got lost because of that window. I'm gonna go come over here to create rule and I am gonna pick a trigger. This specific question didn't specify when they wanna do this. So I'm just gonna do it at create issue. So essentially, whenever the issue is created, I'm gonna run this rule. You wanna be careful again, because if every issue, if you're making tens of thousands of issues a day, this rule is gonna run tens of thousands of times. So, but fortunately, Jira allows you to put some conditions. So when the issue is created, and we can do something like check for a condition, I want to check and see, oops, not assigning, no, no. I wanna check and see if a specific field, assignee, is already set. So if assignee is empty, then I wanna run this rule, right? Because if if when I hit the create button, I'm just gonna switch over to this button, to the screen here. When I click on create and I'm creating an epic, a story or task or whatever it is, I'm just gonna do story because it's less fields. I can actually set the assignee. If this is empty for whatever reason, then I want my rule to execute. But if it is set, right? That means that there is a value here my rule is not going to execute. And I think this that's the point that this um, Atlassian community leader promote here is trying to guide this user. They're basically saying you should check to see if it's if the, there's a value already because if, it, if there's a value, the rule shouldn't execute because what promote is suspecting and what I'm suspecting as well is there's no condition here for assigning is empty. Since the, the condition isn't there, the rule could be when it's created, set the assignee and it's gonna override whatever was already set. But by doing this condition here, Jira is gonna go, uh-oh, I don't meet this condition. I'm not gonna execute this rule. And so that is, I think, what Promote is trying to tell. So anyways, I think that's what he's saying here. So let's just continue though. Assuming that we do have an empty assignee and we do wanna set an assignee, you just click on new action. That new action here, we're gonna edit the issue. We're gonna look for the assignee and now you can pick whoever you want. So you can actually copy it from another issue. You can copy it from the parent. You can copy it from the Epic. You can copy it from the trigger issue. You can set the specific person or the reporter or the creator. It's up to you. I'm not really sure what the difference between reporter and creator is, but you can pick whatever you want here. You have a lot of options. If you have a large team, you can basically set your own team. So, so yeah, so go ahead and do that. Hit that save button. Give it a name, auto assign if empty. I can't spell empty. And then make sure you turn it on. And when you do that, now whenever you create an issue, and I'm just gonna create again a story, I'm gonna give it a title, test automation one, and I'm gonna click create. You'll notice I did not set an assignee. And so when I look here, it automatically set it. Now I can also go back to my automation. You'll notice a couple of things. I can go to the all rules because I didn't need my doctor at the beginning and I accidentally left that rule were running. There it is. Okay. So if I go into the actual rule and I go to the audit log, you will see that it successfully ran. 
it took 1.1 seconds and there it is it updated 38. the second way that you can verify that this actually worked is if i click cancel here and i refresh i'm gonna go back to all my issues so i'm gonna cache that d38 and i click into it under history you'll notice that i didn't do the assignee when i created the issue but instead the automation for jira did the assignee so anyways that's a quick look at how to create a rule that automatically assigns a user if and a big if if the assignee field isn't already created or filled out when the issue is created so